Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you, Pisces. I hope you're well. I hope you're fine. This reading for today is for the month of July 2020. This is applicable for singles only, okay? What can I get for Pisces? What is the message for Pisces, okay? In today's reading, Pisces, I'm going to be looking at who's coming towards you from the past, okay? Connecting, reconnecting to you. And new love opportunity all right so this is for pisces what can i get for you guys i hope you're doing well i hope you're okay i would like to welcome back my subscribers thank you so much for tuning in thanks for your amazing support and for guest viewers if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell click it now if you're interested if you are keen okay and if you're interested to further support my channel Check the description box below because you'll find the details of my Etsy store, my Instagram account, and my website. So you can check all the information you need to know for whatever service I offer apart from the YouTube, apart from the platform, apart from the YouTube, free YouTube video, okay? And so let us start your reading. This is for July month, Single Spices, Okay. So, you've got here the Four of Wands in reverse and the Nine of Wands, okay? And you've got here the Knight of Swords and the Three of Cups. Someone's going to ask you out or you will ask someone out. This is brand new love, the Three of Cups dating, okay? Mm. There's two person that you would be connecting this month. Um... Okay, for for this particular for for the for this four cards in here, I really feel like um, you have release or you have let go of this person because they don't have time. They're so focused with their career and stuff like that. But the month of July, they would have a lot of availability though, so they will ask you out. They will ask you to like a movie date for some of you. If you can watch movie, but I felt like there is a date. There is a catch up. If it's not a physical catch up or a date, it could be a video call. It's someone that you could see each other face to face. Okay. So there is a date from someone who is always busy, who they, they always reply um, late or the next day. There's always delay. July month, they have less activity. So they have the capacity to date, to spend time with you, to get to know you better, okay? For some of you, this is older than you, okay? But in terms of maturity, you are more emotionally, um, or you're, I guess it's more of when you were dating or getting along, you are more available or you're more interested to upgrade the romantic situation you have together and they keep delaying it because they have a lot of opportunity or they're very busy they have a, they have a lot of things to um to take care of and they don't want to compromise the business or that situation in there so they've decided to just let you go because um it's a feeling of I'm not good with this spices or I have a lot of things on my mind. So I better let you go. But July month, they're pretty, they're pretty much going to come back and say, hey, it, it seems to be a very newish energy. It's the same person, but you feel like they've changed. They've changed in the way they communicate. They're more faster. Um, they're keen and look forward to have a more personal communication okay so this is really looking at exciting because they're very into their work or i don't know career something is making them busy in the past career finances or responsibility but july month they have a lot of availability for you okay for some of you i'm seeing 10 percent of you guys you would have an opportunity to meet someone and you will ask them out okay um for male 
um, Pisces out there, you have an opportunity to meet someone or to see someone and um, you will ask them out, okay? And um, for some of you guys, four of wands in reverse, nine of wands in up, upright position, you're really exploring, okay? So I see this one, this is a past energy. This is a past energy, they're so busy, and um, the past situation in here is that you're into them, and I'd say they're into you, but love is not their priority, and they let it go. July month, they will make it up with you, okay? This energy, for the month of July, this is, I see you exploring, okay? And you have options, you have this and that. There is someone who you will ask out, okay? Or they will ask you out. In the beginning, you're not interested, but it sounds fun. So let's see how fun it is. You're very guarded to, to go on a date or to take a step forward to make some sort of blunt or, you know, if you're a female, you're kind of scared to um to be the the one to initiate if you're a male maybe you like this person so much that you're shy to ask them out but there is an energy in here of a three of cups and there's a need to see each other again or to speak again or to get the number to be interactive like to move forward okay it's a, a brand new beginning there is someone who's exploring. It could be you, it could be them, but there's definitely someone who's going to ask your number. You will communicate. There would be some sort of initial communication. And it it's so it it it's um it's going to turn into something romantic. So I just be friendly for those, you know, Pisces friends that would be busy this month. Um last call. I'm hearing there's going to be a last call, last minute invitation. And that's where you will possibly meet this new love, brand new love opportunity. Love opportunity. Ooh, for some of you, two of swords. Two of swords, king of pentacles. For some of you, you, you you're not ready to love or you just break up. And um, for, for fun, for a change, I think you would enjoy whoever it is. Or you're recently, um, you had some pain... Like you're, you had difficulty trusting because three of swords, I felt like this is you, okay? This is a brand new love. You're exploring. There's a possibility for you to date again, to meet again, to have someone new the month of July. The thing is, you still have um, three of swords, the king of pentacles and the two of swords. You have old baggages, okay? You are carrying old wound, pain, and hurt. And so when you meet people, person... Uh, that could lead to romantic opportunity, you have this feeling, oh, they will hurt me. Oh, they're going to be cheater. Oh, I'm not ready. But actually, if you take the thought, you know, it's more of what I'm getting from, because this three of cups, it's so good. I know there's a three of swords in here, but this three of cups is so good. It's It's kind of telling you, hey, Pisces, the universe has, you know, has given you heartbreak, but it also has given you happiness. Remember that. So don't be afraid to fall in love again, okay? So there is an energy for the month of um, July for you, Pisces. Don't forget, don't be scared to fall in love, okay? There's always pain, but there's always going to be happiness. If there's one, sh you know, 1% that you will get happiness, why not take it, right? So this is you. This is your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. I hope you like the reading. If you do, guys, please don't forget to click the subscribe button, the click button, the like button, whatever button you have there, except for the disapprove button. And um, I'll see you in the weekly reading um, uh, this Friday, New Zealand time. You have a fantastic uh, month of July. And bye-bye.